What is going on guys? My name is Oracle Boss. Welcome to today's video. Now, this is the episode 2 of my Battle Brother guide. And uh, today we're just going to talk about some really important things early into the game uh, between day 1 and day 50, or even go beyond that, day, day 100, I should say. So, most of you, like, I'm just going to pick up straight away from my last episode. So, most important thing in this game is gear all right and there are different tier of the gear so basically early into the game you're gonna pick up some radar gear and that's gonna be 115 armor piece and also 105 helm if I'm not mistaken but something like that and uh, in my opinion um, the most important thing is to dagger the gear the the carrier of the gear you want to uh, keep until the last So in this game in battlefield uh, in battle brothers how the gear drop system work is that if a gear didn't get damaged and uh, All the way survived until the end and uh, the carrier actually got killed by you So you're gonna get the most chance It's almost like 90% chance you're gonna get that piece of gear All right with that being said, so the perfect way to do that is actually dagger down the carrier of the gear you want to pick up. All right. So as we demonstrating in the in the fight here, so I'm fighting Necro fight, and uh, this is actually day 72, and uh, this is a big fight, 12 units, and that uh, is a fallen hero. So right from the get go, I know that. I want to get that fallen hero gear because right now looking at my party all of them are actually on 115 helm and except one unit which is King Oroka. King Oroka already got a great sword and already got a 2 tank armor piece and a 2 tan um, and a 215 helm and so does Arthur Dane. Arthur Dane is actually rocking pretty much the same setup with um, King Oroka. So I already accumulated some gear from um, Brigand Leader and all these unit, uh, all these um, armor I accumulated uh, either from Brigand Leader or from just purchasing from the armor from the armory and the weaponsmiths from the town so anyways so right now I'm really looking to get that fallen hero gear because I know that fallen hero gear is actually better it's gonna provide more defense than um, the armor I'm carrying right now. But the thing for Fallen Hero is that the gear normally is gonna cause a lot of fatigue, but that's that's not really an issue because some of your really some of your most talented brothers is gonna be really really um it's gonna have a lot of fatigue so which means they're gonna carry they can they can carry um, heavy armor and uh, they can still have a lot of fatigue map to do actions. Anyways so Right now it's basically fighting necrophytes and uh, right now we're just clear clearing out the chaff and the uh, dagger fallen heroes is actually going to be a little bit more tricky than dagger a brigand leader. I'm trying to find a clip uh, where I'm actually daggering the brigand leader but uh, I think in my playthrough I actually haven't got um, a lot of them and uh, the one I got during the mercenary fight, uh, mercenary is another scenario you can get better gear of uh, from and uh, really good. But anyways, so I'm gonna give some examples that you can get um, really valuable gear. So the number one go-to unit for um, for daggering is Brigand Leader because Brigand Leader, as I said before, can spawn. 215 helm and the 215 uh, 210 armor, which is incredible. And uh, you can see us the thing, and the King Oroka is obviously rocking those uh, gear. And also, Fallen Heroes. Fallen Heroes, I think, can spawn up to uh, 250 and even 260 armor piece and gear, and also helm gear. So, that's definitely a leap um, from the early Raider gear. And you can definitely get a lot of value just by um, just by daggering those uh, guys down and grab the gear off them. And now, 
you can see I have two tanks set up on the edge of my formation and uh, the tank on top is gonna basically um, looking to engage that fallen hero and uh, trying to just keep that fallen hero right there as the rest of my company just clearing through everything else uh, which is about to happen now so I do have one hammer guy which is in action right now and uh, I purchased the hammer from the weaponsmiths and I do have a two-handed axe brother which just did the action and King Oroka is gonna do some nice nice damage and uh, I really like greatsword um, especially early because greatsword has three uh, attacking um, attacking types you can single target attack and you can do like a split attack which basically you can damage the guy in front of you and also the guy right behind that guy and also you can have like a swipe attack which basically gonna attack three enemy units um, right beside you and you can see now I'm actually using the tank on top to occupy that um, fallen hero and trying to just hopefully I can just hold, them, uh, hold that fallen hero right there and uh, just basically um, after I clear, cleared out everything else there you go that fallen hero already missed the attack on my tank this is why um, especially early you need to rush for at least two tanks and the tanks in situations like this it's gonna be so beneficial to your company like imagine if I don't have a tank on top to contain that fallen hero I'm gonna take a lot of damage and uh, which is no joke those two hand um, those two hand weapon uh, fallen hero is gonna dish out pretty much pretty much insane amount of damage especially those axes and uh, they're gonna either one shot or maybe two shot your brothers which is not something you want to happen this early into the game so right now I'm still just trying to fish for a headshot for my archer but so far my archer bro is having a lot of trouble reaching that necromancer at the back which is okay I mean eventually we're gonna clear, kill all the zombies and just get to that necromancer there you go so right now this is the advantage of uh, having a great sword because you can with also with that um, um, berserk you can attack twice once you killed a unit so using sword early is definitely very very beneficial as well but uh, later into the game though uh, sword value is gonna decrease and also we do have another fallen hero I believe right there protecting um, protecting our necromancer so right now the situation looks really good because uh, we almost clear out the entire chaff department of my opponent's army the zombies but keep in mind that zombies will rise back again and they can be a pain sometimes but most likely if you have one or two capable brothers just uh, just left behind and protect your squishy targets your squishy brothers you should be fine to deal with those because uh, 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 those zombies respawn because zombies they armor still gonna be damaged so when they rise up again and again they might be like and they might not even holding a weapon so which means they're gonna do like minimum damage and they're gonna take a lot of damage so it's not too hard to deal with and right now I'm just trying to use the uh, my brothers on top to set up a dagger and also I pushed my tank to uh, occupy that necro and the other um, fallen hero as well hope to just keep them in uh, in check and contain them as well there you go and uh, yeah so just having having and also the other thing I want to mention is that having brothers uh, especially the bill hooks and also those uh, long axes can at the, at the second nine would be really beneficial to you as well this is why I always run three to four guys specifically doing that just be like an expert poem guy because they can dish out a lot of damage with the bill hook and also if you have an axe bro who is leveling uh, behind your line don't feel like don't be afraid to just chuck in with a long axe he's gonna dish out a lot of damage as well and now I'm just trying to push in with King Oroka trying to kill that necromancer 
and also trying to just basically uh, get rid of everything else except this fallen hero. And right now, I have to say that my tank did an exceptionally great job at containing that fallen hero on top. And now I'm about to set up the dagger. So basically, uh, when it comes to daggering down stuff, it's very easy. You just basically swap the dagger and just basically uh, surround the target. And also keep in mind that uh, for every single target adjacent to that um, fallen hero, he's gonna take. Uh, so basically, all your brothers gonna get an extra five melee attack, which is huge, which is a lot, by the way. And uh, imagine if you have six brothers surrounding that fallen hero, that's a free 30% melee skills. That means your normally your dagger will miss the puncture, but uh, in this case, they're not gonna miss that puncture. And uh, also, uh, keep in mind that when you need to uh, you need to just engage that fallen hero with minimum um, brothers, which ideally would be just one tank, all the way until you are ready to dagger. And when you are ready to dagger him, you then move up everybody and uh, surround him immediately, and then you just start daggering. Because in that case, you're not gonna lose brothers by accident that you didn't surround him as uh, fully surround him, and he just basically. Uh, target one of your squishy target and one shot it so that's not a good thing so keep in mind and uh, right now I think I'm in a prime situation to target down this fallen hero and grab the gear of him and uh, the gear from this guy is gonna boost my company's ability a lot especially this early into the game 70 day 72 if you can get like three or four brothers with uh, 210 like 200 ish um, helm and 200 ish armor is gonna be huge it's gonna help your company to survive what is gonna come in definitely all right so now I'm almost gonna eh, there you go now that's a good shot almost like this archer finally finally found his target and killed that necromancer like took him ages to do that and uh, also you notice that I have six brothers in place to just basically puncture that fallen hero over and over again and try to grab the gear off him and also King Oroka is gonna deal with that um, fallen hero uh, which I don't really need the gear from and also kill that uh, and also the archer killed that necromancer down, down there as well now that's a really good um, AoE attack from that fallen hero and that's the damage you are expected to take so you have to make sure that you bring guys that can at least take one or two hits otherwise losing people when you dagger down a gear is always not a good trade so now i'm about to uh, puncture that fallen hero to death but keep in mind that if it's a brigand leader it's not gonna come back but if it's a fallen hero the fallen hero might just come back and uh, so you need to wait for a bit in case, oh, there you go. In this case, Fallen Hero did not come back from that, and uh, I'm grabbing 220 and uh, is that 240? So 220 helm and 240 um, armor piece is definitely not bad. 